Okay, so here we have our tanky sequencer. Um, this is a very handy device. Uh, it just runs off of two PP3 9 volt batteries. You can see in the back there. Um, you can also plug in an external power supply if you want to use um, a larger battery for more power to the queues. So if you turn the system on, you can just see that it's running through each queue there, checking it, and we're seeing there's an error on each queue, which means there's no igniters connected. It will also check the output terminals, um, which are the terminals that send a pulse to another sequencer if you have it connected. The sequencer is started just by inputting a 6 to 30 volt pulse on these terminals here. And as I just mentioned, at the end of the sequence, an output pulse will come out of these terminals here. So the first mode that it comes into is same time mode. And this just means that you'll have the same time delay between each queue. So if I now set that to 0 0.05 seconds between each queue, and I'll just use a 9 volt battery like this to start the sequence, you'll see that if I just touch this here, there's a sequence running through that with 0 0.05 seconds between each queue. So if I now clear this, and I put it into all fire mode, and all fire just means that every queue will fire when the system sees a voltage pulse. So again, if I just give it the pulse, you can see there that each time I touch the terminals, all the queues are firing. So I'll just clear this mode. And the final way it can operate is with different time delays between each queue. So this would be delay one, and we'll set that to 0 0.05 seconds again. Delay 2, we'll also set that to 0 0.05 seconds. And for delay 3, perhaps we'll set that to 0 0.5 seconds. And delay 4, we'll also set that to 0 0.5 seconds. Perhaps delay 5 could be 1 second. And then perhaps for 6, 7, eight, nine, and then the final delay before the output pulse will leave them set to zero seconds. So you can see now that it's locked into a different time mode. Again, if I just apply voltage pulse, you can see that sequence running through it there with those time delays between each queue. Okay, so here's another example showing you um, with the sequencers connected together. Um, so if I just turn them on, like so, you can see that they're just counting through the queues now to check if there's any igniters connected. And obviously there's not, so you're going to see an error on each queue. Right, there we go. So I've got different time delays set into sequencer 1, different time delays set into sequencer 2, and then just the same time delay between each queue set into sequencer 3. You can see that I'm going to be starting it with a 9 volt battery, just like last time. And then the output terminals of sequencer 1 are connected to sequencer 2, and the same between 2 and 3. So if I start this now, you should see that the sequence is counting through 1, and then 2, and then 3. I'll do that again. Just give it a pulse. The sequence starts. And you can see it flows smoothly from one sequencer to the next. Another thing you can do is have the sequencers connected in parallel. So once again, if I turn these on, as they count through the queues, um, you can see that instead of having sequencer 3 connected into the output of sequencer 2, I've actually got them both connected into the output of sequencer 1. Um, so again, I've got different time delays set into sequencer 1, and then just the same time delay set into sequencers 2 and 3. This is just an example. Um, so if I start the sequence, you can see it's counting through sequencer 1, and then the sequence on 2 and 3 will start at the same time and flow through. So I'll do this again. You can see there the sequence is flowing through 2 and 3. So the final thing that I can show you is that there's no reason at all why you can't connect another firing system, such as our 20 key waterproof one here, into the input of the sequencer. So all I've done here is just connected Q20 into the input of the first one, and then the other two are in parallel off the end of the first sequencer. 
they're all set up with a delay of 0 0.3 seconds between each queue. So if I just press Q20 now on the firing system remote control, you can see that that starts the sequencer running and it runs smoothly through the other two units.